Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today we are reviewing the All Powers S2000 1500 watt hour portable power station. We're going to unbox it here and we're going to put it to the test. We're actually working on some fan um, cabinets today, so we're going to hook up some power tools and see how it handles it. Here is the All Powers S2000 1500 watt hour battery. We just got it the other day. I'm gonna go ahead and bust this guy open right off the top. It has a warranty. It says to um, charge to 100% before you start. And it just kind of has all your instructions and stuff in there. So enough about that. Let's just get into the product itself. Here we have it. So this is the All Powers S2000. Pretty sleek little unit, actually, just right out of the box. We have four AC outlets. We got a 2000 watt um, output on those. We have a little XT60 solar input port here. We have four um, USB inputs, as well as two USB Cs, a 12 volt as well. So that's pretty sweet. I actually went ahead and charged it last night. And what else it comes with is, so it comes with a little package and it comes with all of our charging cords. So an AC port, so charging from your AC input. We have a 12 volt charging port, charging off this XT60, which is a common plug these days for all these uh, portable power stations. So that would be how we charge off the car and also it comes with, and I love when they come with this, with the um, XT60 port. We also have our MC4 connectors with a input here. I'm not sure what the solar input is here. We'll go through all the specs here in a bit. So just coming out of the box, you get three cords to charge off 12 volt, to charge off solar, and to charge from the wall. Also, we have, I'm not sure what this is here. A bag of sorts so I guess you can actually put the power pack in a bag not sure why probably will never use that but it comes with a little bag to store it in I guess sometimes it might be nice when we're in the shop and we're kicking up sawdust everywhere so it also comes with a little baggie and it looks like that is it so Let's just get straight into it and put it straight to the test. So I charged it last night. Um, it charges fairly slow. Input, AC input for 400 watts. So it, it probably is going to take a little bit of time to charge. My anchor power station, it charges at 1400 watts and can charge in like two and a half hours at 400 watts. This might take a while to charge. Also has a 500 watt solar input and output 2000 watt. 4000 surge on the AC outlets, USB 5 volts, USB C, sorry, 5 volts, and the other USB Cs are 5 volts as well, 3.5 amps. So, right out of the box, though, it's a nice little sleek small unit. Uh, a little bit heavy, so it's got the handles. The handles are very robust. Sometimes the handles on some of these cheaper units are a little kind of funky, but these are definitely nice robust handles. Has some kind of rubber grips here on the bottom so it can so it stays in place. Couple buttons here just on the interface and let's just go ahead and start uh, cutting some wood off this and see how well it handles it. All right, now we got it hooked up. We're about to make some cuts on our table saw. This has actually been a really handy little work tool here so nice little tool for working out in the field if you were doing this out somewhere or your job requires you you need power out in remote areas this will definitely do the trick now we're going to rip some boards on it and just keep seeing how much work we can get done in one day on this bad boy so i cut all the drawer fronts out off of the all powers battery you can see here we still have 88 percent it's doing really good. Let's just see how much the saw draws real quick. Okay. All right, so we 
did quite a bit of work today. We used the table saw, the jigsaw. We used the iron there for almost two hours, edge taping all of our drawer fronts. You can see we're down to 62%. That's pretty cool, seeing that we worked for about four hours today off this unit. It's small, it's packable. I really like it. Um, we're gonna keep testing it out. So we still got some more work to do, running some power tools. We'll also check um, how well it can charge off of solar panels. So we have a few modular solar panels here. We will test that out. But overall, it did really well. Danny's kind of wrapping up the project over here. Just getting that edge tape on. And yeah, we'll just continue to test this guy as we continue to finish this project. All right, so I got some pretty good use out of the All Powers Power Station here the last few days working. I'm at about 62%. So from two days of work, I've used 62% of the battery. Granted, the power tools are only on or off, you know, just for a little bit of time. So you kind of just cut the piece and then it's off. But still, good, pretty good juice. I really like how robust this thing is. It almost feels like it's meant to be out here on a work site. So I have it hooked up into my solar array here, my driveway solar array. I'm also powering the camera as well. And I'm gonna charge these batteries in and kind of get to work. So I have two 200 watt solar panels over there. The first one is a Rofi power. I'll show you both of these. The one in the back is a Mango Solar. And from those panels, I think I'm getting around 244 watts so getting a little bit I could probably position the panels better to get more but I'm just gonna see how much charge I can get here while I work so plugged in I'm just using 30 watts because I'm powering the camera as well I'm also gonna plug in my batteries for my tools here so my drill drivers and my impact driver batteries and I'm just gonna power the work station another day I'm gonna get some extension cords out here and make it a little bit better, better setup. But I have the rigid out here. I'm gonna make a quick cut on this and then I'm gonna set the station up better. All right, so it's been a big day. I got quite a bit done, cut all the headers, the sides. Uh, the cabinets are coming together, they're looking good. So the all powers did the job today. It's at 73% charging through solar. I never was really able to get more than 260 watts from both of these panels so i'm not sure what's going on there i do need to see the max i believe it said 500 solar input i'll double check that if i'm wrong here i'll put it on the screen what i really like is how it has this nice long um, xt60 port here it's pretty long so it's long enough for me to run from over there to here one thing i would recommend if you're going to use this power station for work and using panels you're going to want a solar extension cable so i know bougie rv makes a really nice one but the mc4 is attached maybe 10 20 footer and that's going to help you be able to kind of run your array out farther for most of the day i was able to kind of put it over here but then the truck pulled up so just working here i just wanted to show you these two panels this is the rofi panel this one's nice it's very lightweight as you can see, pretty flexible, pretty durable. I like how it's lightweight. It's got the flip down legs. This is a 200 watt panel. And then this is the Mango Solar. I show this one a lot in my videos, the kind of the OG here, not as flexible and very and pretty heavy to lug around. And this one also kind of folds up into itself, handles built in. So this one's pretty cool. I really like this panel. I just got this one. And then the Mango Solar, folds up as well into the bag here that I'm using to shade the power station because it was a hot day today and it did pretty well. So another thing is testing it out in the heat seems to do really well. I really like too how it's got the four AC outlets. So another day we'll test it out. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and leave it charging for a bit and we'll see how it gets in the morning. So after a few days of using the All Powers power station here, the S2000, I really like it. It's nice size, so it's not incredibly heavy. It's not this huge thing that I have to wheel around like my anchor. It seems to be just enough for what I'm using it now. Uh, I never really thought that these things are so great just for working out on a work site, 
So it's powered the tools two days and I've gotten the charge up to 76% just off charging from the solar today. So like as, as I was saying, really robust. These handles are great. They're, they're metal, met nice fasteners there. So it's a pretty nice durable unit. I think it's great. So I'm just gonna continue working with it. Now just plugging it in, using the battery down the next few days. I have a quite a bit to do. I need to cut, cut my drawer fronts, um, cut my drawers, do all that stuff. So quite a bit of work to do. So we'll continue to use the battery. We'll also test to see how much uh, the surge can handle and all that fun stuff. Doing a lot of work. We got the cabinets all finished up. I'll show you the final look. The all powers unit did amazing. Before we wrap this video up, a few more tests. I'm just gonna show you the app here. So it does come with an app. Uh, it just gives you some basic monitoring. So monitoring how much power is left, 76%. It did really well throughout the entire build. I kept charging it off of solar. You can also turn on and off all of the um, AC and DC power here. And then also you can uh, just monitor, see how much is left. And then this here is the button for turning on the Bluetooth app. So <clears throat> the app works great. Now I figure we kind of see how it looks as we run it, or as we put it through the test. So I have a heat gun here. This thing uses quite a bit of power. And let's just see how well it does. And let's just max it out. It says 2000 watts, so let's test it. So we're getting up. 1,000, 1,100. So in order to get more, I'm going to need to plug some more stuff in. So I'll find some more stuff and we'll just keep testing it. I have an air compressor. I plugged it in down here. It's just a uh, 150 PSI, six gallon air compressor. It does use quite a bit of power. I'm gonna turn it on, it's gonna be very loud. So I'll probably just cut the audio as we kind of monitor how much we can use here, so. Pretty incredible. We got up over 2000 watts, so definitely as advertised. Maybe we'll try plugging in one more thing and seeing kind of where that shutoff is, where the surge is. All right, I'm adding another outlet. So 230 watts for my Blue Eddy uh, EB55 charger. It's up over to the side. It's charging that unit. We're gonna kick the heat gun, the air compressor on, and then we'll kick the heat gun on. And that should get us up to about 2300. So let's see how it does. So it just cut off. It gave me some power though for quite a while on the uh, at, at that full surge. So we got it up to 2300. It turned off. It's only rated for 2000. So it's pretty impressive that it even kept it going that long. So definitely living up to its name, 2000 watts. Uh, as you saw with just the compressor and the heat gun, we got up to 2100 and it actually kept it running there. So. I'll just reset it. All powers, definitely as advertised, 2000 watts. You saw it handled it well. And also look at that, it's got six total USB, two USB-Cs and then two, four normal ones and also the 12 volt power. So lots more we could plug in here. Definitely very impressed with this unit. All righty kooks, that's a wrap on the S2000 All Powers uh, portable power station. I really like this unit. I think the thing I like the most about it is the size. It's very compact. It's, they did a great job of compacting it all. It's a great tool to add to your um, kit if you're out a lot working outside and you need power. Definitely a great kit. I'll just show you comparison to size. So this is a Blue Eddy EB55. This is a 500 and like what, 37 watt hour. This is 1500. So this is triple the watt hours. And look at how it's almost the same size. It's not much smaller than this Blue Eddy. So just definitely looking over these all powers. They always have really good deals online too. I know they're very reasonable. And like I said, it's very robust. This thing is strong. I've had it out in the sun, baking while charging. It withstood the test. 
we finished our entire cabinet project with this unit. So very impressed. Definitely uh, something that I'm going to hold on to and add to my arsenal here at work and just keep using this. So uh, Kook approved, two thumbs up. Uh, I love this little thing. Great, just mainly for the size and it's very durable, strong, durable handles as well. So thanks for watching you kooks. Uh, check back. We're going to have more reviews per usual always coming out and uh, like and subscribe if this was helpful and then checking out any of the links in the description if you're interested in these units uh, checking them out they always have really good discounts on these so catching a deal and picking one up so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time